What's going on guys, World Watch Watchers back again with an update for you guys, I hope you're all having a lovely day slash evening. As always I give you guys the latest Chelsea news in the last 12 hours, news in, news out. Also we'll be discussing the players that Chelsea should be selling as soon as possible in this transfer window in order to bring in more revenue so we can spend a lot more. So guys if you enjoy my content, smash that like button, let's get at least 550 likes on this video, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak on. Now in the last 24 hours, including this video, we've uploaded four times. If you can go check it out after this video, pretty line up, net spend, general Chelsea news and now transfer daily of course. I might take a break tomorrow. I know I do say I upload every single day but in the last 50 days I've uploaded about 60 videos so it's been crazy. Consistent of course as you guys say, Mr. Consistency um, but sometimes goats need to take breaks in it. No I'm joking. But yeah we do need to take breaks of course man. Um, and a quick joke as well, I don't know what's funnier by the way, the Chelsea announcement for the new kit and Crystal Palace taking the mic or William to Thiago Silva, if I'd known that you'll move to Chelsea, I would have stayed there after all. Good riddance my friend, it's good that you've gone to Arsenal, your retirement home, you can go focus there. And of course, you know, why does it need Thiago Silva for you to stay? But you know what, I'm sure Chelsea will be surprising us with another sign. And hopefully Ben Ahmar for at least £20 million pounds was West Ham, don't want to spend that money, which we'll be getting into. So, the main topic we're going to be speaking about is Mendy. Um, according to uh, S. Johnson Sport, of course, very reliable around Chelsea news as well. Chelsea expect to make Mendy the next signing, and the deal could be completed within days. You know, I'm waiting for this goalkeeper to be signed. We need this goalkeeper to be signed before um, the season starts. Of course, we don't know if Kepa's going to be first choice. We need a lot more competition, as I've been saying, rather than Caballero. I'm getting bored of, you know, seeing a very good penalty stop um, shot stopper. But we're not seeing a proper goalkeeper that can compete with Kepa and take responsibility. So Mendy is very, very crucial. I've seen his aerial duels, the way he grabs the ball. He does all the basics, okay? He's not a top, top goalkeeper, but he's good enough to play for Chelsea in terms of, okay, if we bring in a top goalkeeper in the following seasons, then he's good enough to be second choice. But in terms of short term, it makes very good sense for him to be coming into Chelsea as I said he does the basics he controls the box he will command it of course uh, when defenders need help and the offside traps beaten or something he can come out and claim that ball he's got very very long arms. I always say that he's got very long arms six foot five he looks like a proper beast man I'm telling you now like the photos the, the clips that I've been seeing some of the games that I watched very very good goalkeeper and someone that needs to be at Chelsea very very soon but we shall see what happens with him. Now, of course, I want to be getting into the players that should be leaving, okay? And this is from Conte. Conte is someone that I really, really admire uh, in terms of when he was a Chelsea manager. And I didn't want him to leave, but I felt the way he called out the board gained my respect, but he done many things wrong also, okay? The players that he, he brought, the players that he sold, um, not always his fault. But I felt like he could have done better as a Chelsea manager because he was very, very good with the Chelsea fans. The passion, the fight, everything. It was all there. I really, really enjoyed it. And here's the reason why my Twitter in the first place three or four years ago went viral. Um, which is how I made YouTube and a lot of you guys are watching now. So, yeah. Some of the players that he signed, like Emerson, Zava Costa, uh, Barkley. All these players. Some of them are not his choice, but some of them he could have avoided 100%. You know, like people saying Costa's his fault. I don't blame him fully on Costa with the text. Very unprofessional and disrespectful. But Costa wanted to leave many, many years before that. Even with Mourinho, he wanted to leave. So I'm not really angry. And the money that we got for Costa, we wouldn't have got it today or, you know, a year or two ago. So it makes sense. But let's get into Emerson. He's played under a number of managers, just like Michi, and just hasn't made it. Just not good enough to start for first team. I don't think we need him as a backup. We've got Ben Chilwell and we've got Marcos Alonso who's more um, effective going forward offensive and getting those goals but defensively a bit of a worry but if we change to plan B and go far at the back then Marcos Alonso could be more effective there and uh, I think in a back four or back three Chilwell was more effective to help out Chelsea of course. So Emerson needs to be sold. He hasn't worked out. He had a few injuries this season. He started really strongly and got injured unfortunately. But it's time for him to go 15 20 million pounds would be very very nice and that's something that we need to add to the kitty of course for the players that we're looking at like Declan Rice and Mendy maybe a cheeky Ben off Mars or that I'll be getting into Victor Moses I don't I don't know what's happened to this guy he's gone on loan many many times on here he's gone loan here loan there loan there if you can get at least five million for him I think Chelsea need to look at it realistically it's not about making as much money as possible in this window it's about getting as much as we can 
okay in terms of if the fees low take it okay we can't wait another year if we're going to do a proper madness and complete this window properly we need to get rid of these players now okay Drinkwater's on instagram talking about how he's working hard pre-season and he's ready for the next step wherever it is if it's not at chelsea very very good i want you to be uh, motivate and you know get back to your good days where you want to leave with Leicester you know you deserve to play good football of course you shouldn't be sitting on uh, not even on the bench not even the squad for 100,000 week chilling in Dubai we need you to be going to Burnley on, on a permanent deal or going somewhere else basically so you know if we even get like 10 million 15 million for these guys like Emerson, Drinkwater, even Mitchie yeah Mitchie's running out of contract next season we might as well take what we can now people are saying that we're going to get a new contract with Mitchie so we can sell him after i don't even think that should be the case i think we should just take it right now as much as we can 15 20 million for that striker as well and we move on basically so emerson as i said moses as i said zava costa now i'm hearing loan to roma broke down i'm hearing loan to atlanta forget all of that man just take a cut we bought for what 25 million pounds or something like that just take 10 12 uh, fifa 20 i sold for 12.7 million like we can sell him like that man come on 12.7 million it's not a lot for these clubs nowadays man these clubs make it from tv revenue times five man okay maybe i'm exaggerating but they make it on tv revenue and player sales and shirts and stuff like that so i think clubs in italy should be buying players for at least 10 12 million pounds now emerson zappa costa most drink water are players that need to leave chelsea 100 percent that deadwood needs to go out of this club as soon as possible okay we don't need to wait any more longer we need to get rid of it. Bakioko, oh my word, don't even get me started. I was so hyped for the signing when he first came. We saw Matic, we're like, yeah, Bakioko, team of the year in the Champions League, of course, he was fantastic. And then, boom, started his debut with an injury, done really well against Tottenham, and then I never heard of him playing a very good game ever again. Very frustrating, but in terms of getting loan fees and Chelsea have been able to get some money, which means we can take a loss on this player. We've not been paying wages or anything. So why don't we sell him for 20 million right now, okay? 20 million right now and we still make a profit of a few million pounds after all the costs that we've taken away and been received, okay? Rather than taking a 3 million loan deal now and an optional of 30 million euros. What's the point? Just take the cut now, man. This is what I mean. Chelsea just need to take, you know, don't throw on opportunity costs. Just take whatever offer is given to you right now. Of course, don't take a very, very low offer. But I don't know if AC Milan will buy Bakayoko next season for 30 million. They're signing other players right now, so they probably don't even need Bakayoko that much. But it could be reverse psychology, mind games, of course. So hopefully we get this Bakayoko deal done as soon as possible because, as I said, revenue for Declan Rice, for Mendy, will be needed, okay? We have enough money to spend on them, but I don't want the net to be too, too negative, you know what I mean? I don't want it over 50, 60 million pounds, in my opinion. Of course, we've got loan deals coming in. We've got percentage fees coming in from Bogo, etc. We've got Eden Hazard's money coming in. But I'm talking about fees in, fees out, straight up. How much are we making FFP? I'm keeping an eye on all these things, which is why I want these deals to be done as soon as possible because they're not going to be featuring for Chelsea anymore. So why do we need them at this club? We don't even need them at loan. We've got other low knees right now, okay, that we need to focus on right now. Like Ethan Ampadu, which is a bit of a surprise to Sheffield United. We've got tomorrow going to the French League, which I hoped he had stayed at Chelsea. And sell Rudiger and Christensen. You know what I mean? Like, there's players out there that need to go. Agent Rudy's fantastic, but on the pitch, hasn't been good enough. One of them can stay, okay, as a squad depth player. Christensen's better on the ball, but, you know, Rudiger's more of a leader than him and, and physical side to him. You know, we need that more often. But Christensen on the ball, playing from the back might be the preferred option but he's just not strong enough he needs to show a lot more strength in my opinion uh mitch as i said um kennedy do you guys remember kennedy he done that flip flap in the fa cup for chelsea a couple years ago and then i never heard of him after that game i think it was or after another game you know i got a video of him is that like, come on chelsea like this class like, chelsea players actually are good at heart yeah i'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys i've not had any bad issues with any players except Maybe one or two that I can't remember on top of my head. But most players that we've been going recent years, they've been all decent guys, man. But sometimes you just have to take these losses, man. And Kennedy, even if it's 5, 10 million, sell him. You know, we've got Georgina. Now, I know many of you guys are probably going to say, no way sell Georgina. But if Declan Rice comes in and we've got Kante there, and if Ampadu do going out on loan, it does make sense because Kovacic needs to play. Kovacic, you know, stands out more than Georgina for me with Kante and, and Declan Rice. Georgina... 
we have to play a certain way with him and if we don't play to his strengths then he's not effective and that's a worry for me so if we can get 40 million even for this player it will help this club okay he does want to move back to Italy very very soon maybe not now but he does want to move back there so we can give him a short holiday basically but if we can keep him I'll be very happy to man before people start getting abusive to me for no reason but guys I hope you enjoyed this content this video is mainly about selling players that we need to get um, the funds for in order to spend on Declan Rice and Mendy the most two likely options we'll be getting and hopefully we'll get another winger in because of William leaving of course hopefully better from my guys if you enjoyed this content smash that like button subscribe for new here hit the notification tune in daily and as I said I might not upload tomorrow unless big news comes out well, watch us guys I'm up check out other videos as well man peace